first of all, thank you, Honorable Ambassador, and definitely our Chief Guest, Honorable Secretary, and Jaika Jetro Representative, JPD Representative, Mr. Anjan, and all of the distinguished guests. Uh, no doubt it's a great moment for us because, as everyone is already emphasized, the, how the relation can be developed through this partnering with these two countries. And of course, as a Bangladeshi, I love to say that the Japan is our model. And we we'll, personally, we, we love Japan and Japanese people. There is a lot of background and history. I hope that you know that in 1971, Japan is the one of the first country who recognized Bangladesh. And at the same time, all of our infrastructure development and economical development, Japan has a great contribution. So, uh, as also, I love to say that uh, luckily I got opportunity to study more than one month in Japan in management and technology in 1999. So, I know Japanese people, culture and a lot of, lot of component I learned. So, why I am saying that uh, this few point because uh, from Daffodil family, we have a manpower license. In 1999 to 2002, we run it and we close it because we understood the way Bangladeshi people are doing the manpower business. I'm so sorry, as the, our honorable secretary is here, so I should not like this way. But again, to seeing this uh, wrong direction of the manpower business, I stopped and I sold my company in 19, uh, 2002. But when Japan government is already taking initiative with these two countries, with the proper way where the government will interfere, not any other third party will take advantage as we are seeing the common practice in other countries. Again, we initiated to uh, just uh, uh, issue a, another license, global recruiting. Because the only intention, and I'm sure that I can strongly and very confidently I can say, that our global recruiting agency, we are not sending any single people except Japan. The reason, I hope that you understand why I'm telling this background. So again, why Japan we choose, because why we have the very good intention to work with the Japan, especially our educational and IT venture, because as I love to say, I'm a businessman of IT. So I was a, I started my business in 1990, 1990, and I love to say that the, we are the first IT companies public listed in our country. And at the same time, our university and all of our education venture, we are also focus IT. So we know that Japan is also, they have huge demand of the IT people, and especially the skilled people. And at the same time, you know, this ethical practice, morality practice, tolerance, and you know, the food, food habit, technology, in every aspect, I am, Japan is the best model in the whole world, not in for Bangladesh. And at the same time, I think this is a good opportunity for us. Of course, for, for Japanese people, maybe it's not a good opportunity, where their population is somehow declining uh, due to loss of lo lot of reason. So that is the one of the reason I think they also need some skilled people. And I'm sure that uh, the JPD and today's joint venture or today's this agreement will play very good role, so that, that they can also find the best people from our country. Because as Honorable Ambassador is mentioned. The every day he is seeing a lot of the development of this country. This is true. The Honorable Ambassador, I hope that all of you are witness that Bangladesh economy is driving by the business community. Why Bangladesh government, our Honorable Prime Minister, and all of this budget is already declared that all of the budget is coming directly or indirectly from the business community. Because you know the business community is driving the whole engine of economy in our country. And you know that the that, that is why I should say the government is not eager to get the foreign donation or foreign funding or help, which I think 12 years back or 10 years back, government budget was allocated 40% or 50%, I think, for the donor, don, uh, foreign aid. But now, you know, the business community somehow, they are accommodating a lot of, lot of uh, funding to the government. And as our Honorable Secretary, he has a strong background earlier, he was in NBR, so he knows that how business community is doing, really playing a very good role. See, few of the business community, you know, they are employed more than 400,000 people. So that is the, I think that's a strong component of our country. And everyone you already aware about this government's industry. So these sorts of industry is flourishing. This is why I'm telling this, this is also a good opportunity for the Japan. 
to find out the best practices in our country the which industry is flourishing where is the most talent people is residing or or cultivating i hope that these sorts of joint initiative will be playing a very good role and at the same time i should say that uh, education sector also is another area where our ceo jaman is also mentioned we already recruited a lot of uh, japanese phd holder and we have the lot of the partnership with, with also with japanese university and lot of this exchange program we are going on with the, some japan university so i hope that with this good initiative maybe it will be going long and we will create some good uh, landmark and good example for both of our country so that we can work hand to hand and we can move to the far, forward so thank you very much i don't like to say more wish all of you good luck and thank you very much again.